Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on expanding brackets. This is something for all years, right from 7 to 11. So the golden rule in any maths exam is whenever you see a bracket, you must get rid of it. Well, there's two kinds. There are single brackets and there's double brackets. Here we're going to start with single brackets. So if you look at the first question here, we have three brackets, 2y plus 5, close brackets. Well, as I've just said, whenever you see a bracket in a maths exam, you've got to get rid of it. So as we've learned in class, we put on the arrows. So the 3 goes to there, and the 3 goes to the 5. Each one of these arrows means multiply. So the first arrow, 3 times 2y, well, 3 times 2 is 6, and don't forget to put the y. In our question, there is a plus in the middle, so we put a plus in the middle. And the second arrow goes from 3 to 5. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. And that is the answer. Now let's have a look at this second question. 2x brackets 4x minus 3. Well, once again, we put on our little arrows to show us what we're going to do. And these arrows means multiply. This time, slightly harder, the first arrow goes from 2x to 4x. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, but this time we've got 2x's we're times in together, which will give us x squared. There's a takeaway in the middle, so we put a takeaway in the middle. And 2x multiplied by 3, well, 2 times 3 is 6, and we include an x at the end. So they're single brackets, nice and easy, and will be worth one or two marks in the exam. Now let's have a go at double brackets. Double brackets are when we have two brackets next to each other. Now the way we've done this in class is we've used a smiley face method. So we're going to draw on a smiley face. Here's its eyebrows, its nose, and its mouth or its chin. Right, each one of those arrows in the smiley face means multiply. So we have to work out every single one. So the first arrow is this one here. This goes from x to x. x times x is x squared. The second arrow on the top goes from 3 to 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we can put 15 there. At the bottom, 3 times x is 3x. And this is a plus. And the bottom arrow, x to 5, is plus 5x. Then what we do is we write all of those numbers down. So x squared always goes first. And then we use the bottom numbers, plus 3x, plus 5x. And at the end, we have the number on its own, which in this time is plus 15. We always get one mark for that. And then we get our second mark for simplifying it. So we always have an x squared first, but we can simplify the middle two. Because we have 3x, and we add on 5x, then we'll have 8x. And at the end, we have our plus 15. And that would be our second mark. Right, let's have a go at a slightly harder one on this second question. Again, we're going to use the smiley face method. So we put on our arrows. Each one of those arrows means multiply. So let's work them all out separately. The first one goes from y to y. Well, that would be y squared when we times them together. Second one, a little bit harder now, 7 times minus 3. Well, 7 times 3 is 21. So 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. Now let's have a go at the bottom ones. This one here, 7 times y. That will be plus 7y. And then the bottom one, y times minus 3. Well, 3 times y would be 3y, but it's a minus this time. And then we write them down for our first mark. So always start with the squared. So y squared goes at the first. Then it's plus 7y minus 3y. And the number always goes last. So minus 21 goes at the end. And then for our second mark, can we simplify this? Well, our two middle bits this time are 7y take away 3y. 
So 7 take away 3 is 4. So it's 4y. So y squared at the front and our number minus 21 at the end. So there is our second mark. So that's expanding double brackets. Now quite a common thing for people to get wrong is not understanding which is a single or double bracket. So here's an example of an exam question. A lot of people think this is a double bracket because there's two brackets in the question. But you must notice that there is a plus in between the brackets. So this means it's not a double bracket. This is a single bracket, but there's two of them. So if I was to do this question, we treat it like two single brackets, like we were doing earlier. And we expand the single brackets. So 2 times x is 2x. There's a minus in the middle, so we'll put a minus in the middle. 2 times 4 is 8. And then the second bracket, 3 times 2 is 6x. 3 times 3 is 9. There's a plus in the middle, so we put a plus in the middle. And these two are added together. That'll be one mark. Then our second mark is for making it simpler. Well, we can see here we have 2x and we have 6x. So we're trying to get all the x's together. So 2x and 6x will give us 8x. Now we look at the numbers. We've got minus 8, add 9. Well, minus 8, add 9 would give me plus 1, which would give us our second mark. So I wanted to show you that one so that you understood that sometimes you can get a single bracket twice in the same question. Right, here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck and bring them to your teacher to get help.